Hi friends, so let's tell you a very good mnemonic of Pseudomonas by which you can understand the various uh, features of it like uh, which all things it poses and along with that the various diseases which it does. So everything you can assign from that particular mnemonic. And the mnemonic uh, of Pseudomonas comes from the word itself that is Pseudomonas. And in that as you can see in the starting P is there that is pili. So it have pilis uh, to have the attachment to the surfaces and all. Along with this pili, you remember the pigments also. As you already know that it have pigments pyoverdin, pyorubrin, pyomelanin, okay. And the most one is pyocyanin, which is uh, the bluish one. And uh, verdin is green, so that also you know. And these particular pigments, they enhance on a media named as King's media. Okay, they enhance on a media termed as what? King's media. As such, the best selective media is citromedaga, but the pigments they enhance on King's media. Okay. Now talking about the S. S is slimy capsule. It have a slimy layer which helps it to attach like the pilis to the various surfaces. Along with that, this S you can remember of that it have a sweet order. Okay, it have a sweet order and that sweet order is of grapes. Okay, grape like order or a fruity order of grapes is a feature of Pseudomonas. Okay, E. E stands for exotoxin A and S. It secretes up this particular toxin, exotoxins, which inhibits the, like you know, inhibits the protein synthesis by acting on the elongation factors. So that is there, that might be asked. Along with that, you can remember from this a uh, disease name that is ectyma gangrenosum. Okay, ectyma gangrenosum. Fine. Another important aspect here is that in the oxidative fermentative test, that is also termed as huge Lifvinson's test, they use the sugar oxidatively only. Okay, how come? Because they are non fermenters. And these non-fermenters, they ferment the sugar only by which method? Oxidative method in the huge Lifvinson's test. That is also termed as OF test. So, use the sugar which way? Oxidatively. So, that also needs to remember. M is, you can have malignant otitis externa in that. Okay. And this malignant otitis externa is common in whom? From this D, you can remember the DM also. In the diabetes mellitus fellows, they can have this malignant otitis externa, which is a fulminant infection done by the pseudomonas. Then this particular MO will give you that it is motile. Okay. Motile by a monotrichous flagella. Okay. By a single polar flagella, it is motile. This O you can take up for a very important reaction of it. Oxidase positive. This particular one is what? It is oxidase positive. Then this N, N is what? Non-lactose fermenter. It is a non-lactose fermenter. Okay. Along with that, you can remember up, it makes the nail green. Okay. So it does this nail green syndrome or green nail syndrome. And it makes it what? Green color. So that also needs to remember. A stands for alginic acid, another component of the capsule. And it is aerobic. It's a strict arrow, you know that. It's an obligate arrow. Fine. And S is Shanghai fever. And you can remember of that if somebody asks you that what is the selective media for it? And the selective media is citrimide agar. Okay. The selective media is what? It is citrimide agar. And citrimide, you know, is what? It's a disinfectant. And it is capable of growing in the disinfectants. So that also you need to remember. Okay, so this is termed as the best selective media for it that is termed as citrimide agar. Fine. So remember these all points, they are all important and uh, you will able to recall up the full pseudomonas from these particular mnemonic of the pseudomonas itself which comes from this name itself. Okay, so I hope this will help. Thank you.